I've said in previous videos that we need a different kind of leadership. I've also said it starts with normal people, people like you and me. It's easy to think, well, Gerdy, I'm just one person. Why bother? Because how can I, as a single person, create a change in leadership? That's what I want to talk to you about in this video. My name is Gerdy Verboert, the Greatly Guiding Coach, and I bring people into the mountains with me to help them reconnect with themselves, with their true selves, their essence, and figure out what it is that their life is all about and especially how they can be a leader in their own life. So a different kind of leadership. Why bother to start with yourself? Why, when you are just one person in your environment, in, your, in the circle that you move in, and start living in line with who you truly are, with your essence, with your values. Every change in human history has started with one person deviating from what was the norm, what was considered normal, and starting to do things differently. And when people saw what that meant for those people that were doing things differently or for the people around them, they were inspired to start doing things differently too. That's why. When you become a leader in your own life, when you are grounded within yourself, within your essence, within your values, and you are grounded in your connection to the planet, you start inspiring other people. Not everybody, because there will be people who will say, you're just being pig-headed, you're be just being stubborn, why do you make things so difficult for us, for yourself? And it will be challenging at times to stick to being true, true to yourself, because let's face it, sometimes it's just easier to give in to whatever it is that everybody else around you seems to expect from you. However, when you are true to yourself, grounded in yourself, and you keep acting with empathy, with compassion towards yourself and towards others, when you lead with the intent to support instead of with the intent of to have power over, you will inspire others to figure out for themselves how they can be a leader too. How they can be a leader in their own life. And when enough people do this, these pockets of groups of people that start out by being a leader by, for themselves and then inspire others to be leaders too, at some point these groups will connect. You cannot, they will spread and they will grow and at some point they will touch each other and, and merge with each other and that's how you grow a movement. There's a wonderful video on YouTube, I'll see if I can find it and connect it um, and put the link in the comment section. There's this guy dancing at a music festival and he's just by himself in a, in a clearing somewhere in, among all those people, dancing his heart out just for the joy of being at that festival and listening to the music. And at some point, one other guy joins, joins him and starts dancing too and shares in that joy and experiences this joy too. And once that first person joined the dancing guy, other people start joining too. And more and more people join in the fun and in the joy of dancing their hearts out. And this movement grows and grows until people are literally running to join this movement. That's started, that started with just one guy dancing his heart out. With probably quite a lot of people thinking that guy doesn't have every duck on the road. They, they, they must have something wrong with them. Look at that guy. But as soon as somebody joined him, and as soon as more people started joining, 
he wasn't no, he was no longer considered crazy he actually started a movement and that's why it can start with just people like you and me Le a new kind of leadership when it doesn't come from the top and i don't think it will it, it won't come from the leaders that have been leading us over the last decades over the last centuries because most of them have led if you can call it that from a desire to have power over perhaps from fear within themselves and definitely many of them by instilling fear of in those that they were supposed to be leading and supposed to be serving that's not the kind of leadership we want anymore that's we want a leadership that is compassionate that is authentic that is not just authentic towards other humans as a species, but is authentic to all other species and to the planet as well. So yes, it may feel like there's no sense in bothering, but there is. And one last thing that I want to say, when I was looking for a place to record this video, I was trying to find a place that was far enough from the road, which is on that side of me, where you couldn't hear traffic anymore. Until I realized there was no such place where I am right now. If I wanted to record this video today, I would have to, you know, just ignore the road and hope that it doesn't bother you too much. So waiting for the perfect moment to record this video would have meant that I wouldn't record a video at all. When you are waiting for the perfect moment to start being a leader in your own life, you will never start because there's no such thing as the perfect moment. When you want a different kind of leadership, when you want to see a different kind of leadership in the world, be that change. Start today, figure out for yourself what is truly important to you, who are you truly, who are you at your core? What are the values that you want to live by? What is your essence? Whatever you want to call it, but figure that out and start being grounded in that. Every decision you make Hold it up against your essence. Feel inside, or inside yourself. Is this that I'm about to do? Is this that I'm about to decide in line with who I truly am? With what I deem to be truly important? If yes, go ahead. If no, reconsider. But start being a leader in your life today. Start inspiring others. You may not see the results. You may not see that you're inspiring others immediately and perhaps you will never but i guarantee you you will inspire people and you will have inspired those people to inspire others and therefore help that movement of new leadership grow start just start that's why you should bother as always go there greatly bye bye